Hey, it's Jason. So one of the things I've been trying to do a lot more lately is film outside of this studio because I'm just in this basement for way too many hours during the day. And generally I've been wanting to spend more time outdoors before the summer is over. But being the bona fide tech guy that I am, I usually pack a lot of gear with me. And a problem that I always run into when I lug all my stuff to the great outdoors is power. It's not exactly the best situation when you get all set up for your shoot in a remote area only to notice that all your gear is on low battery. But my good friends over at DJI recently reached out asking if they could sponsor a video of me checking out their new DJI Power 1000 and absolutely beastly portable power station that they claim could more than manage my on the go power needs. And I just took this on a road trip over the weekend to really put it to the test and dude, this thing did not disappoint. But before we jump into it, real quick plug for my free newsletter. I just started this and it's great because I send subscribers full rest copies of wallpapers, links to really good tech deals and random articles written by yours truly. It's totally free and I'm working really hard to make sure that it's actually value added to your life. Link to subscribe is in the description below. Okay, first let's talk about design and the features of the new DJI Power 1000. And I think something that's important here to talk about is the unit size. It's about the same dimensions of a small cooler and it weighs around 28 pounds. So it's surprisingly easy to carry around. And the reason why this is important, you may think that bigger is better here, but trust me, you want a power station that doesn't require like three people to lift up and move around and you want one that will easily fit into a tight space. Otherwise, trust me, you're never gonna use it. So what's great about the Power 1000, it easily fits into my trunk with a ton of space to spare and I could easily get it onto a table or other surface all by myself with these nice integrated handles on both sides. And don't let the compact size fool you into thinking that it's not packing a lot of juice. The Power 1000 has a capacity of 1024 watt hours, which is more than enough to comfortably charge my MacBook Pro, a multitude of phones, and my gimbal, and my camera batteries without breaking a sweat. You can see you get two 120 volt AC outlets on the left, two 24 watt USB type A ports in the middle, joined with two 140 watt USB type C ports, which can charge two 16 inch MacBook Pros at the same time, which is fantastic, as well as two SDC ports that can be used to either charge things like DJI drone batteries ultra fast, or be used as inputs to charge the Power 1000 using something like solar panels, or this 12 volt dongle that can be used to charge in your car. The unit also has two built-in fans on each side and DJI also sent over this carrying case that's actually pretty dope. It's a really well-made case that has zipper openings for the front panel and the vents on the side. So you can totally use this thing while it's inside the case and it makes carrying it around a lot easier. Powering on the unit is super easy. Just press and hold down the button here and you'll get the signature DJI boot up sound and will light up the display in the center. And this to me is one of my favorite things about the Power 1000. The display is really clear and easy to read and it actually provides a lot of information like how much of a charge the unit has and more importantly, how many watts it's either taking in or pumping out given its use case. This thing can pump out a steady 2200 watts of stable output, which is higher than the norm for a power station this size and it can surge up to around 2600 watts for more power hungry appliances and it can all be measured through this useful display. So I really wanted to put the Power 1000 to the test. So I actually brought it with me on my most recent road trip. And I should actually mention this, the STC 12 volt car adapter came in pretty clutch because I did not charge the unit the night before. So it was super convenient being able to charge this thing in my car the entire way to our destination. And when we got there, I was able to comfortably charge my gimbal, my new Google Pixel 9 and my Pixel 9 Pro XL, my MacBook Air and my Sony camera batteries like it was a walk in the park. But I really wanted to pressure test this thing. So I plugged in an electric stove to make some breakfast and you can see that the power draw was inching towards a thousand watts, but it was totally stable, no dips or spikes, and it allowed us to cook up some bacon and some eggs just like we would at home. And later that day when it was time for lunch, we packed up some instant noodles and our electric kettle. So we decided to boil up some water. Now I thought that this was going to potentially surge out the unit because these things take up a lot of juice and it did send the output to around 1600 watts. But again, it was super stable stable and was able to boil the water quickly without any issues, allowing us to not only have clean water, but a hot lunch as well. And being able to have access to a stable power source like this that can handle these type of portable appliances really changes the dynamic of what a road trip or a camping excursion could look like. This was the first time I was able to just quickly fry up some bacon and eggs and it made the trip a lot more fun. 
And the DJI Power 1000 does come with built-in surge protection. So in case you do manage to draw too many watts on this thing, don't worry, it'll go into a safety shutdown mode and it will not damage your unit. And one thing to note, I was kind of blown away at how quiet the Power 1000 was during the entire time of use. Even when the wattage output was getting pretty high, the fans were whisper quiet, which is great because if you're doing an outdoor shoot and you need audio, loud fans blurring in the background is the absolute worst. The noise output on this guy is a mere 23 decibels, which is significantly less than the competition. And it's the same when you're charging the Power 1000. It's whisper quiet, which is kind of amazing because this thing can charge wicked fast. You can charge from zero to 80% in a blazing fast 50 minutes and it'll top off to 100% at around 70, which is so convenient. This allows you to plug this thing in on the morning of your shoot or your road trip while you're packing up the car and by the time you're ready to go, it'll very likely be at 100%. Plus, as mentioned earlier, you can connect the solar panels to the Power 1000 with the right adapter and it can accept up to 800 watts of solar power if you use both SDC slots for two 400 watt panels, which is great, especially if you're gonna be in a remote area for extended periods of time. This is also a lithium iron phosphate or LFP battery pack, so you can charge up to 100% regularly without damaging the cells like you would a nickel-based battery. And the Power 1000 cycle life is crazy. You can charge this thing to 100% every day for 10 years and you'd still have around 80% capacity at that point in time. And after really testing out the DJI Power 1000, I feel as though that this is the type of thing that will bring value to virtually every household. It's definitely a must have if you go camping often out in remote areas. This thing can be a lifesaver in so many different ways. It's also extremely useful if you're into video and you're doing shoots outside often for long periods of time, especially if you're using DJI equipment. But this is also extremely useful to just keep in your home so you can have a reliable power source during a blackout. Believe me when I say that being able to play plug in your modem and your router and all your mobile devices when the electricity out completely changes the situation, especially if the electricity is out for extended periods of time. And the DJI Power 1000 is on sale right now for $699. It normally retails for about a thousand and at that reduced price, given everything this unit could do, it's kind of a steal. The amount of power this provides at the output that it does really distinguishes the Power 1000 against its competitors and I really think DJI hit a home run here. If you guys want to learn more about the DJI Power 1000, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. And do me a favor and let me know what you guys think about this power station and DJI just getting into the space in general. I'm curious to get your thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. And in case you guys missed my most recent reviews, check them out here. They're going to help you be as informed as possible.